the timing of the Fed screams partiality in Hunter Biden's favor. Since deeds speak louder than words, President Biden's Department of Justice has demonstrated that incessant claims of independence are meaningless. The DOJ was discovered trying to negotiate a covert agreement with Hunter Biden to give him total immunity for whatever crimes he committed while using his father's name to sell products abroad just this past week. Giving him a warning for tax evasion and firearms offenses wasn't sufficient. He has to be totally exonerated of any infractions involving foreign assets or other issues that House investigators might uncover. Which puts a lie to the investigation is still ongoing excuse the DOJ kept peddling to politicians and the press. Then, just as Hunter's foreign business partner Devin Archer is set to testify to Congress, the DOJ pushes for a date for him to be jailed. Archer's appeal is ongoing, there's no reason for the DOJ to push for this now, unless you want to intimidate Archer into not being forthcoming about Hunter's business and how it might involve Joe Biden. Attorney General Merrick Garland cries that he has nothing to do with this investigation. Joe Biden says the Department of Justice is completely independent. Yet here we are, with suspiciously timed announcements by prosecutors, FBI files that just can't possibly be shared with sitting Congress members or the public, and deals for the first son no other citizen would ever enjoy. What do you think? Be the first to comment. We've already called for a special prosecutor to look into Hunter Biden. Garland's unwillingness to appoint one shows that his promise is that everything is above board or mere wind. Ignore their words. Their actions tell you everything you need to know.